down in Lakeland, and you had a little single place uh, eagle, legal eagle. Yes, sir. This is called a double eagle. Yes, sir. What's the story of this one? Well, I've got some friends that are pretty heavy, pretty hefty in the weight department, and they wanted something they could fly. So this kind of idea came along, and we made a airplane that would carry a lot of weight, so they could fly at single seat if, if not having a maybe with a light passenger with them, but. It'll handle a real big person. It's uh, the weight on this airplane useful load is 516 pounds, and that's quite a bit. And what's the, the, the bigger difference then? I mean, are they, we're using different tubing in it, or well, oh, the tubing sequence? is slightly larger, and the wing is uh, from 107 square feet to 127 square feet. We added 20 square feet to the wing, and we have a little big, bigger strut here. We have a three-inch strut in the front, two inch in the back. They're streamlined extruded aluminum, and uh, it has uh, a four-cylinder engine, four-cylinder Volkswagen engine of 1835cc, and compared to the two-cylinder engine of 916cc, uh, uh, it, uh, it's wider, 40 inches wide, compared to 20 inches wide. Got dual controls on it? Dual control, dual rudder, and, and, and have individual hand-operated brakes can brake one wheel at a time, step on a rudder pedal and pull up on that brake handle and you go right around, you don't have a problem at all. Now, uh, the wing uh, itself, is it the exact same wing or is it a stronger wing? It's the wing? same airfoil, but the spars have been beefed up and I had this, I had an engineer figure the numbers on the spar and the rest of the wing and I have an engineering study done on the wing and it, turn, it turns out I told him to figure it for a thousand pound gross. But since the airplane turned out so light at 386 pounds, I lowered the gross to 900 pounds. That'd give you another 10% uh, G load before the wing will warp or destruct. And now we've got the, it's the in the utility category instead of the standard category. The wing is a utility category structure. The, the first uh, idea or concept uh, come about to produce a uh, two plus? Well, like I said, I had a friend that was weighed 300 pounds and he wanted something he could fly. So uh, I said, well, what you need is a double eagle. So and this kind of spur of the moment thing it just popped up and so he said, well, build me one. So I did. I built one, but I'm not going to give it to him or sell it to him. <laughs> I'm going to keep it. And, and so I decided that uh, I'd just sell plans to it. There's a lot of interest in it. So and we're now uh, selling plans, and plans are available for it now? Plans are available at my uh, address. Just write or call L.E. Mill Allen, uh, <clears throat> P.O. Box 747, Brookshire, Texas, 77423. Or uh, look in my website, betterhalfvw.com, or send me an email, L.E. Mill uh, Leonard at L.E. Mill the plans, are they uh, like a 50-page booklet or 20-page the plans, There's 85 sheets in the plans, and they're uh, eight and a half by 11 typewriter size paper. I made them that way so I could sell them reasonable, and the plans cost $75 plus $5 postage. And I also have five videos, how to do it videos. One for the wing, one for the engine, one to start construction, and one on the tail, and another finishing video. And they're 25 each, and the whole deal Plans and videos are two hundred dollars. Kind of get a little discount there. If you buy everything at once. Now, how many of the two place models are currently uh, in production or in being built or out flying? Well, uh, I just introduced this uh, and advertised. Started advertising the first of July, '03, and it, this is the only completed one. There's, there are two others now in construction, and those are friends of mine that are helping me develop it and get, get the construction methods down properly and get all the bugs and little details worked out where it would be easy for somebody else to take over and build one. What kind of performance are we getting? You mentioned we've gone to a four-cylinder Volkswagen engine now? Yes, sir. We a four-cylinder Volkswagen. It has a 92 millimeter cylinders on it. That makes it an 1835 cc displacement engine, and it puts out right at 60 horsepower. It runs uh, from, uh, we cruise speed, cruise RPM is from 27 to 3300 RPM. And that also determines your speed of cruise. You can go from 60 to 65 to 75 by just running the engine a little faster. So everybody asks me what the cruise is. I said it depends on 
how fast you want to run your engine. Has stall speed coming in at it? Stall speed's under 40, it's about 35, right at 35. And the uh, power on stall is just so ridiculously nose high that you'd have to have been passed out to stall it power on. How about fuel consumption? Fuel consumption's around four gallons an hour. It's not quite that much, I'd say 3.4, 3.6. It's three and a half to four gallons an hour. It's been, again, depending on how hard you run the engine. But the engine doesn't care if that speed, that, that, that low speed on this engine is no problem at all. It, it really uh, is easy for this engine to run uh, 3,000 RPM all day long. Are you uh, making any available any subcomponents uh, so that they the only uh, The only thing besides the plans and videos that I have are propeller hubs for the engine. I have a very good friend by the name of John Bolding who lives in Baytown. And he is building uh, welded fuselages for people that don't want to weld. And also he furnishes all the material to build the whole airplane. He, he has a materials package and or a welded fuselage. And uh, he lives in uh, Baytown, Texas. And his number is 281-383, rather. 281-383-0113. And he uh, will treat you right. He's got the prices down there. Very reasonable. How much do you figure that someone would have all up invested to get one of these airplanes actually flying? Well, I'd say from five to seven thousand dollars and it's, that depends on your scrounging ability. How much you can beg, borrow, or swap and, and uh, get it to uh, flea markets and fly markets and things like that. There's a lot of materials available. One of my tricks is to buy somebody's project that they're not going to finish and use all the materials that yeah, for another project and sometimes they end up selling the other the rest of it for as much as I paid them for it. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you, sir.